We have another audience member coming up. We have Sean coming up, and we know Sean's going to have another incredible question for us. Oh, my God. Right, Maribeth? <laughs> hey, Hillary. All right, here uh, we go. Hopefully my question is oh. good enough. <laughs> oh, hi, um, Sean. How are you? Um, so what was the inspiration led you to becoming a cartoonist? I know you kind of touched on it just a minute ago, but yeah. like what was really yeah. the main what was it okay so yeah to go also back so my um my f grandfather was golfing buddies with charles schultz uh, the creator of snoopy and peanuts and um when growing up i i never i never my my brother met him my mother met him you know my brother played golf with him a few times um but i grew up um with ori like original snoopy drawings from schultz just hanging in the hallways like addressed to my mother just like to Lori and then like a really cool fucking drawing just like in mm. pencil of like you know but really big um and I was very inspired I was I was obsessed with those um from, and that's again I just said it's how I learned to draw and I thought that Snoopy was like the fun and Snoopy could dance too what a cool dog right and I love dancing too that was like the other the other thing I tap danced for about 10 years nice um and I got tired no that's a bad that's a dad <laughs> joke you know um <laughs> But I loved the humor and, you know, Schultz and Peanuts is it's a, a terribly adult humor for children, of which I love. I, you know, I love that. I love I love little kids saying something really morbid, you know, and they're talking about they're like, is this really it? Is this our lives? You know, like everything between Linus and um, Charlie Brown. But I that's what I you know, I wanted to draw that way. And I think now when I like look at the faces, the way I draw, they're a little, I'm not saying like I draw like Schultz, um, but I can kind of see like an influence in that. Um, and then also to be just really horribly honest with you, it's like, I like to write about myself. <laughs> <laughs> and so I, you know, true narcissist here. And, and then I, um, when I was at Slam Dance doing the film festival thing, I just started to discover artists like Liana Fink and Liza Donnelly and all these and uh, graphic memoir, you know, Roz Chast, these cartoonists that were like, right, you know, just drawing about their personal lives and it seemed to be their career. And I was like, what? <laughs> you know, like, oh, me too. Um, and at the time I had also been working at the Moth um, Radio Hour and I was really, I got really into sort of like personal narrative storytelling documentary type stuff and for me I found I was like I could channel it into drawing and that's what sort of just like became my cartoon life basically that's cool all right thank you Thanks, thank you Sean. for your question Thanks, Sean. that was a pretty okay question <laughs> <laughs> pretty okay <laughs> that was a good question brother Staying thank away. you